Sigurd Jarl! Back where you belong. Oh, I missed you, my brother. Yeah, you missed me? Yeah. Once or twice a year. What? It took you time to find me. Was it for this? To enjoy your time on my throne? I did only what you asked of me. And you slew all those who questioned you. That is not what happened. Randri, Randri will tell you. Oh, yeah. We'll see. My dear wife. Brought to me as a gift by her clan to pacify my ambition. Yes, I'm sure she will be the one to tell me the truth. What did that witch Fulke do to you? You cannot even begin to imagine the things I've seen. What I've learned. Born of gods is who I am. A lord of war. A Roman Mars. I know who I am. I know my destiny. And you will not hinder me! Brother. Forgive me. I am faint. Tired of the day and all that has passed. I need air. He's been this way since his return. Could you speak with him? Settle his mind? I can try. Stand with cheer, one and all. Today is a day of celebration. Where's Sigurd gone? I need your eyes, my friend. What are you doing here? I was looking for you. Sigurd. Dark died defending my honor? So he claimed. Then he was a fool. My honor needs no defense. It is stone solid. Unblemished. I offered him a way out. But... Shh. Say nothing more of the past, it is gone. There is a rift as deep as death between then and now. I was tested, Eivor, in a crucible of blood and fire. And in my agony, I was reborn. You may think me less than I was, but this is not so. I am greater than before. My mind is a wellspring of prophecies, visions that tell me who I truly am. And for all that, I am grateful for my suffering. Sigurd, I want to understand, but all this, all you say makes little sense. Basim saw these things in me. Fulke, too. Despite her cruelty, she spoke the truth. I am more than the man I was. More than this hobbling stick that stands before you. You must look harder, Eivor. Deeper. See for yourself what they found in me. Do you see it? My greater self. I... I don't know what that means. Look. This is the face of a god. I see only my brother and my truest friend returned to where he is loved and cherished. Where he is meant to be. Kind. 
your eyes are clouded by the past, a place I can no longer see. I fear our paths diverged long ago. Go. I wish to be alone. Return to my feast and drink for me. Celebrate the days to come in my name. Seems the wind calls me back to Rantvi. First. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Rantvi. Let's tell her the good news. What happened yesterday? You and Sigurd disappeared during the feast. And when he returned, he went straight to our room without a word. We talked for a time. I asked many questions, but got few answers. I wish I could say more. Sigurd wants to blame me for every mishap that has befallen him, but gives me no credit for his rescue. I don't understand. Yet he does speak with you. With me, he has gone totally silent. So, what now? This is for Sussex. We burned it to the ground to save one man, yet he is barely the man we were searching for. Quite so. to see the Alliance map. What of Essex? We received a summons from the Elderman and his Lady of Colchester, requesting you specifically for a matter of great secrecy. Foreboding. And who is this elderman? One of King Alfred's lackeys? According to my scouts, he is a man who cares more for his own indulgences than the safety of his people. Approach with care. I will leave at once. An alliance in Essex would be invaluable, but go with caution. Let's go. 
need to row our way out. Let's have a song. Drop the man. Do you see?
seems Elderman Beerstan has made this ruin his longhouse. Why is my cup empty? Perhaps because you have drunk the barrel dry? Damn, Beerstan. His hat, Lord. Ah, a heroic looking Dane in our midst. I'm looking for Beerstan, the Elderman of the Shire. Our Lord is not at home. But his wife is receiving visitors upstairs, in her usual fashion. If you speak with her, pass on that we've run out of ale. Damn beer stand. His household is as poorly run as his lands. Estrid is a good wife. Far better than he deserves. You would say that, Adrian. You would say that, Adrian. Your wife acts like a sour... And a You! Guards will come at one cry from me! Sheathe your blade, lady. I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan, here at your husband's request. Another Dane. I am Estrid, wife of the Lord of Essex. As you may have heard, my lord is not at home. If he's away, I'll speak to you. Oh, that you could, Eivor. For I am sure this hall would shake with our merry wit. But your accord must be reached with him. You don't strike me as a meek Saxon wife. Do you yet see an ember of my Frankish fire, Ravenwalker? Perhaps it dances in my eyes? I'm wary of rounding up Saxons. Is your husband stolen, drunk, or wayward? He'll be stalking the woodlands today, hunting game and ignoring the vital affairs of Essex. One such affair is why we called for you. If I can find him, I'll remind him of his duties. Ah, such would be a miracle. His favorite haunt is southwest of here. The lavender fields there attract the prey, God help him. With luck, he hasn't been eaten, but I'll return either way. is a godly virtue, Adred. Oh, even the saints were tired of waiting for their stand to hang up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hunting is a fine sport, but I hope the Elderman has not become the prey. No good comes from a camp this bloody. They were caught off guard as they supped. The remains of the hunting party. This one was savaged by a large animal. They 
were attacked by a beast. Something strong enough to kill the horse. Some large prey left these tracks in the grass. The hunters were prey to a large beast or two. I can only hope that Bjerstam still lives. Stretch your wings, Sulin. Kirsten, ready your weapon, or accept your fate as a feast for bears. Do not let them charge you. You have savaged enough men today, beast. this ambush without you. You have my gratitude to stumble upon me in my moment of greatest peril. Perhaps you were God sent. I'm Estrid sent. Your wife and the Thanes of Essex both want your balls on a blacksmith's anvil. When do they not? You could return and report that the savage claw took me. Poor Beerstan, his exit pursued by a bear. ...and make the beast Lord of Essex in your stead. No doubt my Estrid would prefer his velvet paws to my calloused hands. So, who are you? A sellsword? I am Avo of the Raven Clan. You hinted at an alliance for the loan of my unique talents. It's blood, yes. Let us return to Colchester at once. ...and we'll speak more of the delicate matter on my mind. I'm glad you answered my summons. I did not expect such a skilled fighter. It's good I came when I did. You lost many men on this hunt. Good men, all. They will have the proper rights and their families will be cared for. Your people sacrificed much for your sport. They did. There is no balm for my tortured heart. Why did you ask me here? Do you believe in true love, Eivor? I have loved. But have you truly? Has a longing burned in your breast, a sweet lingering pain, paralyzing you with its sting? There's pain enough in battle. I do not seek it out in love. I long for it. The thrill of a fight softly won. My wife Estrid lacks fire. She is a fish out of water, cold and dead. She showed great passion when I met her, keeping her thanes in check. Oh, they love her, it is true. Some with too much devotion. And I have not been a good and attentive husband. I have always been a plucked goose in matters of love. And a piss-poor ruler to boot. Strong must be the hand that steers the ship, Piston. My hand would rather tug the catgut of a well-crafted bow. My eyes narrowing at the sight of prey. Aye, a crown sits heavy on the head. Then let us run wild and free in the woods as the wolves do. Live on our wits, prowl and stalk and feast. You have a romantic way about you, Birsten. Do not fret. My guards will not worry you when we are together. You mismark me if you think I'm capable of worry. Have you built your city in the ruins of another? No, these builders are lost to the annals of time. Far advanced of the Saxon hobbles of Wattle and Daub, I have ambition to build a great palace myself with mosaics and army courtyards. What stops you? That which stops all but the most creative minds. Coin, imagination, talent. And your people. Shall we continue? And your people. Is Essex happy? That is a question I never really ponder. I suppose they are. I hope they are. Alfred believes I rule like a chickless hen. Flapping and squawking over nothing but the farmer's dinner. He interferes. No, he disapproves. Is that not infinitely worse? But look, we are nearing my hall. Ready to help me fend off the spears of their displeasure? Let them speak their woes. I'll advise you if I can. 
Who is this owl, Beeston, that twitters in your ear? An advisor, nothing more. Here to help Essex navigate her brewing storms. Now, my dear brethren, Adred, perhaps you will start us off. What troubles you? You're a disgrace, Beerstan. Couldn't get a sow pissed in an alehouse. Alfred's men are crawling all over Essex. King Alfred, yes. Though it is within his right, the constant presence of his men is certainly an issue. When the months are coldest, the mistletoe is full grown, cloaked in her winter strength. Meaning that we should weather this? Stay strong? Yes, that's it. Not bend in the wind like stalks of wheat. And you, Wyatt, what do you say? Your preparations for the Lammas Festival. How can you think of spending so much coin when your people are starving? Often should one make an early meal, nor fasting come to the feast. The feast, yes. The festival. This is not for full bellies, but to bless the loaf. Does that not bring us all good fortune? And Aldrich, do you yap like a she-hound as Adred does? You know my thoughts, Beerston. The feared. How can we give men to Alfred for his wars when our harvest suffers day by day? Beware of sleep in a witch's bosom, nor let her limbs ensnare you, for she will not bring an early harvest. I, uh... bosom's that? Uh... no. I'm afraid I don't know what that means, Abel. There! Have I not answered all your questions? I thank you for your candor, Bearstan. You have put my mind somewhat at ease. Aye. Indeed. Good. With that, we are concluded, my lords. Now, if you'll pardon me, I have much to discuss with my wife. I sense you had some fun there, Eivor. And your playful wickedness backfooted my squabbling thames. I don't know what you speak of, Lord. All this talk of hunting makes me long for the woods. Your wife awaits, Beeston. Aren't you worried some other man will drench your sheets with his sweat? Ha! <laughs> she does as she must. As do I. But you will discover this soon enough. You have done the impossible, Dane. Returned my errant gander to his coop. My pettish love. Such a stormy countenance clouds the sun of my return. Your thanes drank the ale the abbot gifted us. All of it. Now that is a tragedy my heart will not easily overcome. If he looked at me with the same affection he shows for hunting deer, our marriage might have survived. I notice your love has gone sour. Was it fresher than this? <laughs> there is so little difference between love and hate, it's difficult to say where the sourness comes from. So, what do you need of me? Our affairs are more of heart than of state, Eivor. What little passion there was between us faded into bickering long ago. We would have our freedom, Eivor. I from my wife, and my wife from Essex. I'm too sharp a weapon for so soft a task. Why not part and be done with it? Oh, were I a Dane, and divorce as simple as a slit throat. But it's not so easy as that. Then what is stopping you? Your King Alfred? Ours was not a union of love, but necessity. Decreed by Alfred's father to strengthen ties with Frankia. Not easily broken. Explain yourselves, clear and plain, and I will do it. The poetry here is mind mud. We had a plan, a simple plan. A woman lost and a woman found. Some time ago, we paid a Dane to kidnap me and ferry me safely to Frankia. As you can see, he did not deliver. He was certainly thorough in other regards. Some Norse can be quick to take coin and slow to earn it. If I give my word, it is not broken. Could we try the kidnap again? Much of the planning is done. It would only take a more trustworthy overseer. It should be a bold venture if we do. Loud and brash and seen by all. During our Lamas festival, merry peasants and guards with wandering eyes. Your return to Frankia would need a swift ship, with a captain ready to leave England. We could ask him. 
I would have thought his steed and seamen spent. Come find me in the market, Eivor. Our unwelcome guests require food and ale to soften their anger. My wife is a gracious and attentive host, Eivor. The only thing that keeps my braying thanes at bay. And the woman found? A darling Maybud, Alvida, my childhood sweetheart. I left her twenty years ago in Malden to marry my prickled pear. Twenty years? Can an ember so cold be reignited? We can hope. You must fan the flame. Find her, bring her to my lakeside cottage, and light a bonfire there. I will know to come. I believe she lived in the last house in Malden. A small, sweet place where fond memories were made. I will do as you both ask, and ask Freya for success in this love game. Good luck in your endeavors, Eivor. I pray you find my Alvida with a fair face and a yearning heart. Now, should I look for Alvida first, or meet with Estrid at the marketplace? came first to help you. Your need seemed more pressing. And now my marriage awaits your executioner's sword. Will it not be strange to leave this place? You've lived here half your life. Yes, but what is to keep me here? A loveless union and the dirt mounds of two babes who never took a breath. Have you always missed Frankia? I have. Or rather, I miss the woman I was when I lived there. Somewhat freer and more hopeful. And what of our plan, the great Lama's kidnap? Is this a Christian feast? Yes, it's a wonderful evening, a blessing of the harvest, full of fruits and fires, drinking and dancing. Revelers with muddy minds and glazed eyes. That's good for us. And what of the ship that will sail you home? I know just the one, and her captain is full of fire. Come, I will take you to him. This captain, who is he? Not much more than a boy in his 17th year. 
Full of youthful bravado. A Saxon? A Dane. Though Adred calls you raiders. He says that you are here to steal England. Some may be. But I've come to settle a stretch of land. I'm not so keen to return to the winters of my birth in Norway. Norway? Ah! It must be beautiful. Rugged and fearsome, and cold as anything, the frozen north. So cold that light hangs in the sky. A road for the Valkyries who carry our dead warriors to their eternal feast. An eternal feast would be a merry end. We are here. This is a brothel. The captain's name is Rolfer, called Rollo in my tongue. Tell him of our new plan and agree to whatever reward he demands. He may take some convincing, for we did not part on the best of terms. I'll bring him round. By force or persuasion. Just be ready for my signal at the Lammas Festival. Please, I'm just a poor Christian brother with nothing left to give. Someone's at the door, Rolla. Oh, is it that hun I asked for? Estrid sent me. Did she now? As a parting gift for the man who rattled her bones, huh? <laughs> no, I'm here to collect you. Can it wait? Oi! Bring out the one they call Rolo. The king's men want to ask him a few questions. No, 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 no! Just a second! Day, sir. Come in. Move! Move! Some help here! Bloody fucking Danes! Open this door! Out! Now! Follow me! We found your camp, Danes! Your friends are all trussed up! No one to help you now! Come quietly or die like me! I'm worth ten of you! I'll rip your heart out, Dave! Watch my little man! Get you left dogs! Your warriors sound better luck. Estrid did not lie. You have fire. And who are you to Estrid? Only a friend. I'm Avon of the Raven Clan. Norse by the music of your speech. Then you must forgive me. Those Saxons knew about my camp. I was mind drunk to leave my warriors behind. Go to your men if you must. Only tell me where to find you. We have much to talk about. Northeast of here, by the river's mouth. Follow me or come when you can.
Worse than I feared. So many of my people gone. And the rest at each other's throats. They believe one of your number is a traitor. Lork and Gerhild have been at my side all season. I don't like to doubt them, but my people are taken and my ship is gone. If the traitor lives, all of you are at risk. Let me talk to them. The innocent have nothing to hide. Very well. But do not let Loki whisper lies in your ear. While you were drinking and whoring, Rolo. Nordic, yes? What is your story? You want to hear my story? And bring me a mug of ale, and we'll sit and talk as equals. Elsewise, you can have. I have what I need for now. While you were drinking and whoring... Gerhild, is it? I. Rolo's sworn sword sister. I've served him proud and true. You cannot think I betrayed him. That's all for now. While you were drinking and whoring, Rolo, the Saxons attacked us. And these two were nowhere to be found. Neither betrayed us, Ake. Gerhild is my sworn shield sister. And Lork served my father well. See, have you made your decision? On second thought, perhaps there's more to be learned. Seems like the Saxons didn't get all of Rolo's clan. Lorg, where were you when the Saxons came? Hunting rabbits, wasn't I? Sick to death of carrots and turnips. Then I heard Gerhild shouting and all hell broke loose. Did you see anything at all? Gerhild talking with a Saxon. Couldn't hear them, but wasn't nothing good. Sure of that much. Why should I believe you? You could be lying to save your own skin. Ask her. Says she's loyal to Rollo, but I've known her since she was a babe. Full of spite and ambition, always was. How long has your sword served Rollo? I owe his father a blood oath. If that means wiping Rollo's arse until I die, so be it. And if Rollo was dead, that oath would be fulfilled. He was tired of battle. I'll feast in Odin's Hall one day, but not with the stain of dishonor on my hands. I have what I need for now. Seems like the Saxons didn't get all of Rolo's clan. I should speak to them. Gerhild, can we speak again? You weren't here when the Saxons attacked. I was hunting. There's fine game in the trees outside the camp, and our people need meat. What was your prey? Rabbits for stew. Rolo's favorite. Who are you to Rolo? I am shield sworn, so long as England and that Frankish witch do not sway him from the true path. Our people deserve better. I hear envy. But of Estrid, a Rolo, I cannot tell. You know nothing, Ravenbeak. My concern is for my fellow Danes. You'll find no treachery here. Lord accused you of treachery. He saw you with a Saxon. Lork? You believe that old crow? His bones crumble and his mind wanders with age. Or he wallows in jealousy. Take your pick. That's all for now. I should speak to both, and see if I can find some evidence around the camp. I might find some evidence to test their stories. While you were drinking and pouring, Rolo, the Saxons attacked us. And these two were nowhere to be found. Neither betrayed us, Ake. Gerhild is my sworn shield sister, and Lork served my father well. Seems like the Saxons didn't get all of Rolo's clan. No need to hunt, and the camp is full of fresh kills. This looks like a good spot to hide. Somewhere to wait out a Saxon attack. Have you made your decision? Gerhild claimed to be hunting as Lord did. Rabbit. She rarely hunts. She's been a terrible shot since we were children. Your shield sister is jealous. 
She thinks you neglect your people by sleeping with the enemy. She always had ambition. But she accepted my leadership. Swore on her shield. Lark saw her with a Saxon. She claimed he was her lover. Yet she has berated me many times for taking Estrid to my bet. I did not think her a hypocrite. Lorik said he was hunting, but your rags are full of fresh rabbits. Why would he lie? Unless he had something to hide. He tires of his blood oath, and with your death, he would be free. He has become old and frail, but he served my father well. I would have freed him without bloodshed. Have you come to a firm conclusion? I have. Let me hear it. Both choices will pain me, but let it be the truth. Gerhild betrayed you. No! That's not true! Rolo, I beg you! A shameful death on bloody Saxon soil. Both had reason to betray their Jarl, but only one had the eyes on to do so. I hope you chose well, for you denied them a seat in my home. There can be no feast in Valhalla for a break faith. She was always a jealous crow, beak pricking over every decision I made. Nothing more can be done here, but your warriors might still be alive, and I will need your help after they're free. There's a Saxon camp with a dock at Port Walton. It might be they were taken there. Always knew there was something wrong about her. Spare me your sullen words. My heart is torn. Go. Find something useful to do.
to your face. Arm is strong, Rolo. Never doubt me, Raven Feeder. These Saxon king slaves did. You showed great loyalty to your kinfolk. Stay true to that, and your name and deeds shall spread far. Good advice. Such is my fiercest desire. If it's renown you want, then aid me now. I have a task that will set your name ringing through the long halls. Oh, tell me. I need someone with a swift wave steed in good repair to bring the Lady Estrid across the sea to Frankia. Another kidnap scheme. Estrid is unshakable. All right then. Let we two triumph where one failed. I need you stout harder than this. Whatever your passions for Estrid. We had our time together. Now that's done. I will not fail you here. Nor her. We will meet with your men inside Colchester on the night of the Lammas Festival. <laughs> 